Welcome back everyone to another Dragon Ball Raging Blast on the PlayStation 3 and today we're going to take on team battle number six. So right here we have growing up and of course we have still more to go. So let's get started with the first one. So we have kid Gohan, teen Gohan and adult Gohan with growing up. So I wonder who should we choose for this? I really wonder but we already know who we're gonna choose but who will it be who will it be i wish i could just randomize these three but i think for this one let's go with kit trunks why not i think we have not play as him at all i think if i'm correct so we're gonna go with kit trunks super saiyan and i think i know most of you are saying well you should have put in gold 10 but i'm like well gold 10 hasn't been able to have multiple characters <laughs> unlike kid trunks and then we have teen trunks fighting and then we have uh, sword trunks so yeah just i think trunks will be a much more better choice for this fight than gold 10. But of course, Golten is also good as well, but it just depends. Hopefully, in this new upcoming movie of Dragon Ball Super, that we can get adult forms or much more, how you say it, taller forms of Golten and Trunks, you know? I mean, Golten and Trunks. I, I said Golten, so I'm like, God. It, Sometimes the name, as we all know, is so, so weird sometimes because they do sound similar, Goten, and then Gotenks, and then Trunks, like that. They, they always sound like so similar. But hopefully in the future, you know, they do make them older because we already have seen them like very little for a very long time already. I mean, come on, like, you gotta make them grow up at least, or at least make them taller like you. Hope everybody remembers you, but, you know, at least that tall, you know, I mean, he was taking the form of Majin you. That would have been awesome to see them, you know, just that tall at least. Or just like in GT, of course, but, you know, we just have to wait for them. Just have to wait for the future. But I think I should have went regular base form. Nah, whatever. It's just, again, sometimes these CPU characters, they don't do what I think they should, they're supposed to do. Like, they have the ability to transform, and it's not going to, like, be at disadvantage, at least. But you could transform. It'll be much more easier. But I don't know. I, I'm not sure what they try to do or what sort of coding they do to make at least the CPU characters not transform, which they can, but for whatever reason, they don't. So I don't know. It's just stuff like that that I think will have been better, of course, if, you know, every character can just transform at least one time. If they're like in a very tough situation, they could do that, though. It is what it is. Ooh, wide open. Gotta be careful with those attacks because, of course, they do. All of them have to connect. You cannot just leave one out. Every single one has to be connected. But not bad so far. We're almost done right here. There we go. Ah! Well, should have not done that, Gohan. And bye bye. Oh, calling you out. Trunks calling you out, Gohan. Dang. <laughs> uh, it's so funny with the trash talk, but there we go, guys. We are done. Okay, we have Frieza's front line, the second one right here, and oh, that's pretty cool. We have all the Frieza's. And it looks like I might need to add one more character just in case. So we could select random, so let's see who do we get. 
Zarbon. All right, all right. That's not bad at all. And one more time, let's see who's our next random. Broly Super Saiyan 3. Okay. <laughs> wow, I'm very, I'm, I'm very lucky for that one. All right, here we go, guys. In Planet Namek. And we're going to fight all the Frieza's transformations. So let's see how fast we could do it, because of course we have to go through every single transformation. But I think as well, I think Frieza cannot transform in his other forms if, he, if he's at his uh, lower forms. I don't think he can transform into them, but we'll see. Because it'll be funny if it, if it does happen like that. It'll be very funny. Okay, very nice. High tension. Of course, I do need to finish uh, using the whole entire high tension at the very end because no matter what, it will uh, release all of my key. There you go. Yeah, all of my key is gone. And boom. Of course, Frieza won't be defeated like that very easily. So here it comes. Transformation number two. Huh, I, will, I wonder how... I think Pyro already talked about this. I could be wrong, but I could imagine... How would King Cole look like in his other forms? Because Frieza is able to transform... Uh, I guess like what, four times, but I'm not sure. I I wonder how things would have been if King Cole was able to transform like Frieza. And hopefully someday we could get cooler, you know, bring Frieza's brother back. <laughs> That'll be awesome to see. Oh, going final form. And damn, he is desperate. He wants me dead. He really wants me dead. But it's too bad, Frieza. You just gotta wait in line. Cannot skip. So you already done one bad thing already. Man, can't believe all of these attacks you can cancel into them. Just like that. I guess it's only I think mostly every character you can cancel your super attack. I know there are some that you cannot do. Like, I know there's one of Zar uh, Mazarb on Bardo. See, like that. I cannot cancel after I do that. Could cancel into my suit, uh, Key Blast attack. This see, can I? Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have time to go high tension for that, but oh well. They run after we defeat second form, we will change it over to Broly. Huh, but I guess I should have just gone with Zarbon only because so far he's pretty good. But his post transformation, he doesn't feel slow at all. Again, unlike some other you know, bigger characters, their speed. But the recovery is pretty slow, so you just gotta be careful with that. I think it's probably Wild Sense that I'm guessing right now that he has. And there we go. Yeah, the only thing I, I, I wish I could just switch instantly instead of just waiting. But of course, Frieza is gonna come in and try to not let us switch. And there we go, we are done. Double Eraser Cannon. Oh yeah, I could have just swiped it off. <laughs> I always keep forgetting that about the mechanic of this game is that you can just swipe it away. But every time I always play this game, I always keep forgetting about the mechanic because I'm so used to just, oh, let's move to the side and just throw a key blast because that's much more accessible, you know? Oh, I can't see. I can't see. 
There we go. I'm not sure this will kill Frieza. Yeah, that's not gonna kill him. But not bad at all. 16,000 damage. That's crazy. Wow, I'm surprised I'm able to still like attack him when he was down like that. And we got his final form. Final form Frieza. No, oh, that's an unblockable one. Yeah, it's an unblockable attack. Wow. Okay, very nice. I'll give him that. That's too bad, Frieza. Since you did two super attacks at once, I'm going to give you one big ultimate attack. And let me get in so I could do some combos. Oh, vanish. But not today. Not today. Oh, I think he was too small for that. Bring him down. Bring him up. Bring him down again. Kakarot. Not today, Frieza. Not today. Yeah, I think we already defeated everyone, so we're good to go. KO. And of course, Broly, as always. Not bad in four minutes. Pretty good. I thought it would be a little bit longer, but not bad at all. Okay, let's go to the third one. We got Cell's Evolution. So, uh, the same thing again, just with Cell now. And I guess we have to select our character, but I guess... Who are we going to pick for this one? You want? Know Let's get some love to Kid Buu. Why not? I think I haven't played Kid Buu at all in, in this team battle. So let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. We are at the Cell games. With Cell in his blue color costume. But let's see how we do with Kid Buu because he is pretty damn fast. <laughs> like super fast for a character like him. It's crazy. But I think there's a couple of characters that we have not been able to play very much as well. I'll try my best to uh, show them off as well just to make it more interesting. Because again, guys, you could do whatever character you want. It doesn't have to be the same characters I'm playing as. But I just want to make it more interesting rather than just the same character over and over again. It's just not going to be fun, you know. But there we go with Cell. It's too bad that he only landed a couple times. Oh, I forgot. No, it's not going to reach. Oh, I forgot he has this. Uh, okay, that's good. I didn't want him to do the super attack at least. And which one's going to bring out, of course, second form? Got to be in order. There we go. Of course, I think you, you have to press those multiple times. Oh yeah, his high tension one. Planet Destroyer. Oh, punch me in the face, I see. That's fine. Cause I don't even know, oh uh, well. Would have done a lot of damage for sure. But I should be fine. Let's go to sleep. Of course I only recover so much health. I know, I always feel like, like, that attack, it's not bad. But I think you have to put, like, some customized stuff to make it worth it. Because I'm not sure the regeneration for the health is usable, at least. Because I know in the Tenkaishi games, you are able to sleep. But it will take like, I think more than maybe seven to five seconds 
to at least get health back. But of course, he cannot do nothing, so... I'm not sure. Well, I think probably that one's a little bit more better than this one, because of course, the regeneration is super slow. Oh, it doesn't regenerate enough. But I'm not sure how... How to make it much more better, I guess. To see how much it could restore your health faster. But of course, it's, it's more of a like a cheating mechanic, I guess you could say that. <laughs> In most fighting games, you know, it's not worth to have a super attack that does regenerate your health, because that's unfair. I don't know, it's just stuff like that. Like, I wonder how much of a difference it would have been if he could re regenerate his health, like, at a constant rate, you know, just almost like the key here. Like, it's just a little bit more faster. But not bad with Kid Boo. He is a monster to fight with. Let's finish it off. Very nice. We still have one more, which is super perfect cell or perfect only cell. I always get confused with his name on his last one because I think we have perfect form cell and then we just have perfect cell. So it's like, it's always confusing to know like which is the right term for his last uh, transformation. Because they don't really say it much. Or even the games as well, sometimes they, did, they do confuse it sometimes. Wow, I'm surprised I could combo into that. Okay, I want to try that again. There we go. I do really want to try that again. So, high tension. Okay, not bad. There we go. Going under. And we could cancel, kind of cancel into it, but hey, not bad at all. That's what I le really like about sometimes the combos in this game, that you can't cancel into them. But it's too bad that, you know, not every council move will able to combo, you know. But not bad with Kid Boo. He is a monster. <laughs> but not bad, less than at least five minutes, but pretty good, pretty good. And we are done. All right, we have two more to go, but we got five faces of Majin. Oh man, it's gonna go the same thing as our previous one. So we have Majin Buu, then we have Evil Buu, Gotenks Absorb, Gohan Absorb, and then we have Kid Buu. I'm still guessing, I think, yeah, I don't think there's Ultimate Gohan here. No, we just have regular Gohan. Such a shame, because how can you not have Ultimate Gohan here if you do have Absorption Gohan? You know, it just doesn't make sense. And even this whole, I think Majin, the Majin Buu saga in this game was not really well detailed. Like there was like a lot of missing battles like Debora, uh, there's no Supreme Kai, even Kabito Kai. Um, Ultimate Gohan. I mean, there's just a lot of battles that did not show up here very much. So since we need two, we're gonna go with Goku. Uh, we're gonna go with his, go with his first one when he fought Raditz. And then we have, I think that's just Vegeta. Wasn't there a second Vegeta? I guess not. I guess for this game. So, yeah, we're gonna go with regular Vegeta. Oh yeah, I oh, know that's custom three. That was custom three. There we go. And let's continue. Of course, I could have went Super Saiyan on all of them if I wanted to, but nah, we should be fine. Right now, I feel like like team battle is the little extension to the story mode. 
that's how it feels like right now like it's just a sort of extension of more battles that you can do or just battles that could have been in the game but they were not you know oh that didn't hit come on oh good thing that doesn't reach that far very nice and what can i yes i can okay that's good to know yeah i just wanted to do that because again i'm not because of course this is an instant super kamehameha unlike goku's one is where he has to charge very well then Go with the Kyle Ken. Let's throw my boy. Very nice. I think I could combo into that. I could be wrong. Because I wanted to do my signature skill. Uh, I got the red flash on that, but that was not from the signature attack. There we go, very nice. Let's go away. Spirit Bomb. Very nice. Hey, you know what? Let's switch it to Vegeta. Oh, come on. Every time you guys, they always have to do this. Of course, I was going to win no matter what, because I did four of them at the same time. What? He's able to... Oh, man. Just by that pixel of a health bar. Okay. Very well, then. Uh, he's switching. What? What is going on here? Why are they switching? I guess just to make it easier for themselves to switch in between. I mean, that's a good tactic, I would say, but I'm not going to bother with crashing all of them. That's just, just not going to be fair. Oh no, please. Block, block, block. There you go, very nice. There we go, all of them hit, very good. Oh, the recovery sometimes. Not that good when it comes to getting up into their face. Very nice. Saying spirit. No, come on. Okay. Woo. Yeah, that's what I hate sometimes is that they can have enough key to catch you off guard. Oh, we're in the corner right now. Too bad. Of course, we cannot get out of there unless we do have an ultimate attack that does reset us. But not gonna take the chance. Oh, I brought him back up again. That's fine by me. There we go. Very nice. But I think this thing is going a little slow. So you know what? Let's do fusion. Huh, it does not combine their health. Okay, I'll take a note of that next time. Because I know in the previous games, you were able to combine your health. I guess maybe they took it off from this game. There we go. Stardust Breaker. One, two, three.
Ah, oh, not enough. I no, not again. Oh well. Well, I guess this part was not enough because maybe we did not have any buffs. But I wonder if that does take into effect with the buffs. Like, since we fuse, we should get like a multiplier of their damage at least. It just depends right now. Of course, we did fail. So it feels like. Oh, special beam cannon. I think that's the first time I ever see it with a uh, super cool. Yeah, you will get like a multiplier from this. Well, at least with their attacks. I know in the previous games you're able to get a multiplier, but I guess this is a modern DBZ game. I guess he didn't want it to make so abusive for mostly these uh, how you say it <clears throat> like fusion and batari rings characters because you take into consideration like uh who was it uh tenkaishi no not tenkaishi oh yeah tenkaishi but at least like budokai 3 you knew that every time you did a fusion or at least yeah, just regular fusion, like Gogeta, you do get a much more better power boost. But for like Vegito, he was like just a regular character, but his multiplier was just his Super Saiyan. You know, that's pretty much it that you get. But oh well, I, I think we are done. I think we defeated all the boos, unless we're missing one. I think we're missing one, we forget Kid Boo. Right? It's a Kid Boo? Yes, it is. All right, then. Let's do it, Kid Boo. You're, you're our last opponent right now. Oh, very nice. Not today. Let's do it with the final flash. Very good. Audience, the transmission. Why? You just gotta love how they are able to recover that fast. There we go. Let's charge our key. Well, not today, Kid Boo. Should not charge in front of me. Oh! Oh, very. That's very interesting how that clashed. Oh, he didn't attack right yes he did and that will be the end of kid boo well i guess i could take a consideration next time is that the health does not combine with each other so very interesting but not bad at all at least the fusion was awesome but there we go we are done with all the margins all right, so we did Frieza Cell, Majin, and now we have Angry Saiyans. Oh, so all the Saiyans except for Team Gohan. Well, yeah, Team Gohan was angry. So let's get started. It looks like we want to select one character. So for this one, let's go with Gotenks. Why not? We did not have play as him as well. So I'm just going to give him a chance. There we go, and then we still have one more to go. We have Gohan. So let's see if I can make it. Oh man, he's already going. And I'm dead. So yeah, guys, uh, I lost three times. So I'm going to switch to another character. Okay, yeah, guys, I lost again. So I'm not sure what's going on unless I'm not doing something correctly. Or again, they have some sort of buzz that are really taking the advantage of everything. 
and it's just making it more harder for myself to defeat them. But again, like I'm just trying to live with myself and not taking drastic measures on like, oh yeah, let me just get the best character in the game and just finish it with every single person or every single team battle. But again, uh, I have played with Gotenks, did not go so well, and now this is the fifth time I fought in this battle and I'm still <laughs> not winning, so... Again, I'm not sure what kind of buffs these characters have. It's too bad they don't tell you what they have. They just tell you, hey, sometimes they do have buffs or they don't tell you at all. You just know that, hey, they're doing more damage. They have more health or they have more defense, all that stuff. So it's really hard to tell what kind of stuff they have. But there we go, Super Explosion Wave. And of course, you could just spam ultimate attacks if you want to, just to make it much more easier. There we go, here we go again. There we go, very nice and vanish. Let's do Eraser Cannon. Very good. Okay, this is going a little bit more smoother than last time. I don't know. I think maybe because I, I'm getting off guard with some of these characters or... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just the buffs that they have. This one of those two. Because again, I... Because these are Super Saiyans. I will say all these characters are very good in their own benefits as well. But it's just little stuff like that. Like, I think I'm probably just getting off guard or... It's just... Maybe just the buffs that they have. Like that, like, I did my ultimate attack? No. It goes through... With, with the Gallic Gun. Like, really, game? I never thought that... Well, he has an explosion wave, but... I thought there might be like some sort of barrier around him, at least. But I guess it's not like a giant one, or... I'm not sure. I don't remember if... The original Super Explosion Waves... They did have a barrier around them. To protect you from like like Kamehameha or Gallic Gun or late or beam super attacks, you know. Okay, I need to be careful now. There we go. Turn around. Go up. Go back down. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. You don't need to do any do anything drastic. Okay, we got our last character. Gohan. And there we go. And I need to be careful right now. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't shoot anything. That's fine by me. You want to do that? That's fine. Just going to make it a little bit more easier on myself. Oh, he's going high tension. I'll go high tension too. Wow, I think he did do a snap vanish and he was able to get me off guard right there. Okay, one last one and we are done. Finally. Whew. It's finally over. Oh boy. Yeah, finally it's done because this is the fifth time I've done this battle and I keep on losing. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just, again, I think Gotenks is just, I guess, not my character or the way he plays with his original combo attacks is just not that great. 
I don't know. I'm just. At the end, I guess Gold Chains is not my character for this game. But either way, we are done. Number six is done. All of them are completed. And there we go. We have another one uh, here inserted. And then we have Beyond Super Saiyan. Though, so this is the last one. We got We Are, we are Not Wimps and the many others. But of course, six is number done. And until we have until next time. We're going to take on two more, but thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Dragon Ball Raging Blast on the PlayStation 3. As well, share with some of your friends that they want to watch the whole entire team battle or the whole entire game in its completion. Share this video with them. But as always, keep on playing and game for a lot, guys. See you later.